hi friends this is Praveen back to PHP and today we are going to learn about your math built-in functions in PHP so before we get started about this subject you should always make sure your XAMPP is running and in my case my XAMPP is running at my tarry bar and you could see that the XAMPP is running out there you, the next thing you should always follow is your htdocs in my case I'm training you in htdocs tutorials which would be following with the path called C XAMPP htdocs in that we are trying to train your files in tutorials in that we have a built-in methods and there I'm going to train you about your math built-in methods so to get access to this file you need to open your browser in my case I'm using Mozilla and to get this you need to always make sure that you will type localhost and we will go for tutorials and in that we have a built-in methods there and we have math built-in methods in PHP the following fonts we are using is h1 the tag we are using is h1 and uh, the family name that I'm using is Montes which is getting from Google so you may also get that code by watching it here the link tag is always getting it uh, from internet connection through Montes and we have one more style.css which is on relative path you might be seeing that here I'm going calling font family Montes in this case this Montes is not available in Windows so it is always going to get this family from the Google and you can see that the family name is Montes and this has been calling Montes for which tag h1 tag and you might be seeing I'm already controlling with h1 so that is something with green color and we have following things so let's get started with your math all things you're seeing here is this one and uh, I have some div tag here which is having some styles of letter spacing font size margin left so let's get started I'm already always in div now here I'm going to go with pi value before I get started with this you should always see this file we are trying to learn math predefined constant math objects in PHP so predefined constant are those values which will be accessible cannot be augmented so you are not supposed to argument what is available just use it so I'm just going to access what is available in built-in methods in math so first one we're going to access pi value pi value uh, going to get fetch of 180 degrees 180 degrees it will give in radians in radians is equal to let's first see the file this is what I'm writing math pi value 180 degrees in radians you could always fetch math values through m underscore pi and you might be seeing that information here this is 180 degrees in the form of radian values the next thing we have or available is square root square root of 2 that can be fetched out with something like math m underscore square root of 2 this would help us to retrieve square root of 2 that's what we have got there square root of 2 and uh, math predefined predefined means which are available you can just can't push up with any of the number and expect your own arguments that doesn't work here so that's what I mean to say predefined are those things which are available in built-in methods so we have as usual square root of 2 again we have something called square root of half that can be fetched with like this 1 underscore sorry I'm really sorry for that 1 underscore this is square root of half you can see that value always here this is square root of half again we have something like Euler's constant echo Euler's constant is equal to m underscore e this would always fetch Euler's value and for those of you who doesn't know what this value and how this values come up or how the value is being derived you could always rely on Google you just go and ask Google Euler's constant value it could help you out to get the following definitions so this is something we have Euler's constant value again we have something called in predefined natural log natural log of 2 here you can write m underscore ln 2 this will retrieve natural log of 2 and you can see this value natural log of 2 is this one in the same way we have something like natural log of 10 this would derive natural log of 10 
and this is the value that you have got here next we have something like echo log base 2 of Euler's constant is equal to m underscore log base 2 of Euler's value this will derive your value of Euler's constant with log base 2 in the same way we have something like log base 10 of Euler's constant and that could be like this so these are some of the math predefined constant objects predefined means which are available access them but your PHP supports math user defined arguments also so let's try to get started with user defined arguments for that I have to go for this h1 again so I'm going to take this h1 copy I'm going to push it here now you could always see something like the div got open here and the div got closed here again h1 got open closed div got started and I'm going to go with this closing div so that all things will fall into div okay math user define this time we are going to say user define user defined always cannot be constant why reason is simple user defined are those arguments which a user can supply or pass any value in between the functions so let's try to get started how user defined constants will work the following supporting things we can first find out is absolute value absolute value absolute value all you need to do is abs absolute of minus 9 supply any value you like uh, absolute value will never take a negative values in this case it will derive your positive numbers you can supply any value as I said you this is my next value I'm trying yeah I've got the positive number next we can always retrieve exponent value something like this exponent value this can be derived by typing exp exponent in some cases uh, I do understand exponent value of 1 is somewhere nearly equal to Euler's constant you can see that 8459 which is a Euler's constant this is also retrieving 8459 but this is something called as user defined you might be pushing your own exponent values here in my case I'm passing 9 I've got some different value of exponent let's try to get something about square root square root of your own value I'm just uh, supplying something like 25 square root of 25 uh, the difference between user defined and uh, what is it predefined is you should always be prepending with m underscore which will be predefined here you have followed m underscore square root of 2 it works only 2 but here you can supply your own values but that should be something like directly writing square root of let's say let's try to put down I'm going to pass 25 my own argument and when I see this value I could see that we have square root of 25 5 we will supply something like 625 that's my wish because uh, I can use my own arguments here so I do see that the square root of 625 is 25 so I'm just working out with this values next let's try to go for something like echo uh, I just gonna push something called let's try to find out okay we will find out power value I'm just going to go for 2 to the power of 3 I might be pushing SUP this could be something leading like this I hope you understood this scenario 2 to the power of 3 in this case if you want to push this value all you need to do is POW POW is a predefined function which will take two arguments the first one would be the base value the second one will be the superscript value in this case it will retrieve or it will return 2 to the power of 3 yeah it's working you can follow up with any values as I said you again this supports something called floor value or let's try to push it minimum value minimum value minimum is a predefined function which will take the following arguments you can pass multiple arguments in my case I'm just passing two three four out of this what is the least say, value it will push up two. let's try to give a try of another one uh, guys I'm going to use a pre keyword so that I can scroll some top of the page something like this so that I can have scrolling a good scrolling here okay let's try to get with your minimum value echo maximum value maximum value is a value which will retrieve out of the following arguments the highest value let's try to pass some values I've got like some salary something like this much 
yes and uh, let's try to say I'm going to push some floating values okay I'm going to take or copy the same number copy I'm going to supply another arguments again I'm going to supply same arguments but I'm just going to increase the value we have some 4 we have some 5 here the maximum salary value if let's try to say an example I'm trying to retrieve the employee details or product details which have been clubbed with multiple values as a comma as a separator so out of this who has got the highest salary that could be retrieved by max and you might be seeing the details here the maximum salary in this case I could see is 254 not 244 not 234 so yeah it's fetching 254 next we have something like floor value floor value when I say preparing with floor irrespective of whatever the values you supply and we have something like 999 okay so if I need to round up this number this should have always been round up with 2344 4, because the highest decimal value is always the highest point but here because of prepending with floor it will not take the decimal values of a higher point but instead it will always stay on the lower point so in this case though it should supposed to be 2344 rupees but what happens is because of preparing floor this would always take the least decimal points sorry it will take the it will take the least point not upper values now you could see that here yeah I've got like 2343 three. okay but in this case if I'm going to go with seal 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 value and I'm going to supply seal and here I'm going to pass the least values see guys in this case the decimal points are very least and this should obviously be rounding up with 2343 three. in this case it should be 2343 because the decimal values are so least but because of its prepending with seal value it would always round up to the upper value which in this case it should be retrieving you 2344 let's try to take an example in companies everybody's salary is being fetched and they have own decimal points but if a company is willing to pay the employees with seal roundup then you would always get a higher value of your expecting salary if your companies are paying you on a floor basis you would always use a lose a one rupee that could be something an example that you can see here yeah seal value though the decimal points are so low it's just giving you the 44 number let's try to put down something like roundup value round value when I say round value just give me a second okay guys so what exactly round value will do round value will always be fetching up based on the decimal points the first occurrence of a decimal point if it is supposed to be giving you four then it would it would always see the first occurrence of a decimal point if the decimal point is four or lower than four it will be rounding up with floor point so in this case I would obviously expect this rounding up to 43 so you might be seeing that value here that's something like giving you 43 okay sorry we haven't used any round information so I'm going to round up this round now you might be seeing this this is 43 but if I suppose be betting the very first decimal point phi or above phi then it would always round up with seal value A seal in the case would always take the upper value and this would be rounding up with 44 yeah the next thing I would like to show you is a round will always again round value would always take the decimal points also if you pass anything like two decimal points comma is an argument which will expect you to pass the decimal point number of decimal points you want to round up with so if you're passing two decimal points then it will round up with two decimal points including 50 but that again leads two decimal points definitely but this will always depend on the third occurrence of a decimal point and this goes with five then this two values the next the third one is a fifth one then this two values will be round up and in this case it will take 51 now if you suppose the third decimal point is always going to be 4 or less than 4 then it will be 50 I hope you got me 50 that's in case going to give you 5 okay maybe you can push it like this 51 then it will give you 51 and if you go with the third decimal point with 5 or above then it will give you 52 okay next thing we have is something like echo 
we can convert uh, ra radian values to degree values and degree value to radian values in this case let me just convert into radian values to degree or first we'll convert to degree to radians degree degree to radians in this case what I'm going to pass is degree to radians now I'm going to pass 180 degrees this would always fetch in the form of radian values you could see radian values uh, this is something I've already showed you that m, and m underscore pi would give you a radian values of 180 degrees what is it what is it given actually is 898 is it matching 898 yeah we have supplied 180 degrees and it is giving a radian value if you would have fetched this in the form of something like 60 degrees 60 let me just pass here so that I can identify what I'm actually actually passing 180 ampersand D E G degree in the same way I'm going to pass here 60 60 ampersand D E G now you might be seeing this information like this we have degree to radian 180 degree in the form of radian is this and uh, 60 degrees in the form of radian is this okay you might be also converting something like degree to radians this time we will write radians okay last time we have worked with degree to radians now I'm working with radians radians to degree in this case let's try to pass radian values to degrees suspicious item has